okay, Irene, you can come now. Like, it'd be fine with me if you came now. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good morning, Box. I want to show you something. My new phone now has a waterproof case. Per some of your guys' recommendations and Ken's insistence, because my phone, my other phone had survived two things that should have water damaged it, and one thing that shouldn't have been as bad as it was. Um, and I got it replaced, which I think we talked about two vlogs ago. It's hard to keep track now that we're not doing every single day, because I'm like, oh, I talked to you yesterday, but I don't know what all goes into which videos. <laughs> Anyway, um, I got myself a waterproof phone case, so in theory, I should be able to drop this into a pool and leave it there for an hour, and allegedly, it will be fine. So that's really exciting, but the one thing I really don't like about it is I've got this, like, this part of it that screws in at the bottom, and so if I want to um, put headphones in, I have to have this headphone extender thing, which I'm like, this is not going to stay in my purse. So right now I have like a headphone jack that goes into my car so I can listen to podcasts and music in theory, but I don't really listen to music, um, in the car, but the actual headphone jack won't plug into the phone. So I just added this as an extender, but it's weird cause I have to like screw it in. Anyways, Ken is on spring break. So I'm like, okay, Irene, you can come now. Like, it'd be fine with me if you came now. Of course, as I've said this whole pregnancy, I want her to come on her own time and I don't want to uh, get too hung up on it. I am officially as pregnant as I've ever been, as far along as I've ever been, however you want to say it. Um, I'm 36 weeks and six days, five days today. Uh, which is Saturday when this part of the video is being filmed. Um, which is crazy. Roslyn was born at 30, or I'm sorry, 37 weeks and six, five days. I don't know what I said the first time. I'm 37 weeks and five days as of when I'm filming this, which is Saturday, which is a big deal. Roslyn came at 37 and two. So I'm as far along as I've ever been. And I'm getting really excited to meet her. It would be so special if she came, like, today. Because then Ken would have maximum amount of time with her. Because he had his last day of work before spring break was yesterday. So, if she came, like, today, then he'd have all of spring break with her. And then the extra week that he's going to take off for paternity leave. But if she doesn't come during spring break, he's just going to have one week. So, there's a part of me that's like, I'd be happy if she came. But then there's another part of me, like I've said, this whole pregnancy that's like, I know it's best for them to stay in until they're ready to come out. And so, um, if she doesn't come this week or doesn't come today, that's fine. Her due date isn't even until April 4th. And so, um, it would be cool if she came early, uh, and he got to spend time with her. But if she doesn't, that's just what she needs and that's for the better. And I'm trying really hard not to get hung up on, okay, Roslyn came early, so she's going to come early. Because for all I know, I'm going to go to 41 weeks. And I don't want that to be shocking to me if that happens, you know? Anyway, I'm going to go into Starbucks and post the vlog. I edited, I edited it yesterday. And I'm going to go ahead and post it and all of that stuff. And I'm going to get some iced tea. And I can stay as long as I need because Ken's off. Another thing I've done is put a towel in my car, just in case. I put one in the car and one underneath me in the bed. We have like a waterproof um, cover on the bed, but I, I was like, well, I'll put a towel and then the sheet and then the waterproof cover. So you never know when you're nine months pregnant. I'm stopping off at the grocery store. I'm super paranoid that Irene's gonna come and that we won't have any groceries. So I'm like trying to make sure on top of everything that we always have groceries in the house. Um, so we don't really need to go grocery shopping just yet. We have stuff to make it through the rest of the week um, and several days. Like I usually go shopping on Thursdays. Um, but we have stuff to make it to next Thursday. But I'm like, oh, but what if I go into labor? It's such a... a I don't know, this like, 
mystery land that you live in when you're in that phase from 27 weeks or from 37 weeks to 40 or 42 weeks or however long you end up going because you're like, baby could come at any minute. Baby could come at any minute. And once again, she may not come for a while. So, and I'm trying to really be okay with that. But I also am like, okay, she is now longer than Rosalind has been. And I really want to be prepared. So, um, especially because people are going to be at our house watching Rosalind. I want them, I want there to be food available. You know what I mean? So I'm going to run in and grab just, um, some like produce cause we don't have any produce. Um, and maybe I'll stock up on some other things, toiletries too, because after Rosalind was born, we ran out of soap because people wash their hands every time they come over. And so we went through soap really quickly and paper towels and cleaning supplies, that kind of thing. Cause we were just constantly cleaning, um, which I'm doing right now. I'm constantly cleaning the house every single day. I'm like, T -t 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 -t. and then Ken comes home and like leaves his dishes everywhere. And then I get mad the next morning and then I put it away and do it again. It'll be really interesting to see how spring break goes because I usually clean while he's gone. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to go grocery shopping. Are you so excited? I am excited. Why are you excited, Ken? Because it's spring break. Mostly. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah. Mostly spring break. Mostly? Well, I got I still have, like, a workshop to go to on Monday. And then... I was gonna go in on Tuesday for students, but we only had like one student really display intention of coming, and I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna show up for one student, because A, that would be inappropriate, and B, I'm not gonna show up for one student. <laughs> like, well, and they still probably won't come. Well, potentially, yeah. This student, I would actually try to come. Um, anywho. Where are we going? We're going to the mall. Why are we going to the mall? So I can walk around. <laughs> I was going to take Apollo on a really, really long walk, which is what I did that kick-started labor with Roslyn. I don't take Calypso on long walks. She gets short walks because she she's out of shape. <laughs> she does the whole, like, we're going for a walk. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, okay. It's like, Calypso, we're barely getting into the car. <laughs> yeah. So when we take when I take Apollo, if I do a really long one, which is what I did that started labor with Roslyn, um, then I get trapped out in the wilderness without a bathroom. So I thought to myself, where's a place that I could walk a lot that has a bathroom? And then Ken said, let's go to the mall and that way Roslyn can play in the play place and we can shop and stuff. Is that right, Roslyn? This kid is, is being really weird back there. She wanted a blanket. We have the air conditioning on and she wanted her blanket. Maybe she's cold, I Not everybody's got like a little oven in front of them. I know, I feel like I want the air conditioning on all the time. It's a bit. What happened? We went to the guitar store, so I need I need a pick for my bass. Little um, known fact about Ken, he has a bass guitar. Yeah, a bass guitar. Well they saw I got that game Rocksmith. And uh, yes. I always I've always finger picked and the thing wants you to learn how to do a normal pick. Like, I need to pick up a pick. They're cheap. And so I walk in and nobody's there. There's no cashier. And I was like, 25 cents. They're 25 cents. And I'm not going to steal it. And so we're waiting there. We waited finally, for like 20 minutes. That's an exaggeration. It was, it was like five. But like, so. It was a long time. Nobody was there. And I was like, um, what's going on? So one of the guys comes around the corner. I was like, oh, do you work here? He's like, well, kind of. I teach here. I was like, so can you run the cash register? He's like, no. And I was like, is there a cashier? He's like, no, what do you need? I was like, I just need a pick. He was like, you know what? Just take one. We'll survive. Like, <laughs> they're a quarter each. <laughs> so that's the story of how Ken stole a pick. I mean, that I could have been... No, it was given to me. That it was could, given. By someone who allegedly worked there. Worked like, that could have been anyone that's that just said that they worked but there. That's on him now. That's on him. <laughs> okay, it's not my fault. I was deceived if that was not the case. <laughs> She hasn't napped in like, actually that's not true, she had a nap like two days ago, but apart from that, she hasn't napped in weeks. It's like two hours before she normally would. I don't know. Out. She's just tired. Yeah. She woke up at four this morning. I'm not sure she ever went back to sleep. No, yeah. Right. Dip, dip puppies. Hello puppies. Yes, sir. Well, I opened the freezer and I threw something in and we store some of our cups in the freezer. 
and it is currently precariously. Ooh, that is hot. It is currently very precariously hanging off the edge. Now I want to show you real quick what that looked like. So let me see. You see the cup right there? There is the cup just hanging off the edge. So I'm gonna try and open the door and catch it. And so I wanted Heidi to film it in case it's awesome. And if it's not, we'll just delete it. <laughs> Ready? Ready. Nice. There we go. Very impressive. On camera. It happened. <laughs>